cannot believe I'm going to Europe this week. Like, thinking about it, I have so much still to do. I am planning on filming my packing video tomorrow. Today is filled with appointments. I've got my nail appointment. I think I'm gonna go red. I just think red in Paris is a vibe and I just miss having red nails. I just thought they were so chic. I always got compliments on them and I don't know, I just was feeling myself with red nails. So I think I'm gonna go all red and then I've got my eyebrow lamination and not brow lift, lash lift appointment, which I'm so excited for. It makes such a difference, especially because I've got such long lashes from using my serum. It just literally looks like I've got extensions. So doing that, and then I have to go pop into Perfect Strangers. No, it's Perfect Stranger, not Strangers. At Rabina, um, because they're gifting me some pieces for Europe. So I'm gonna go in, do a little try on haul, and yeah, I'm sure you'll see on Instagram what I picked up, but I probably will be wearing the shit out of their clothes because I am obsessed with them. That's my plans for the day. And then tomorrow I only have a skin appointment. I'm thinking, I don't know if I should do a DMK again or a micro. I know with micros, your skin can purge after because you're getting all the toxins out from underneath and it like brings it up to the surface. And I just don't know if I'm prepared for that like a day before I fly because my skin is just thriving at the moment. I feel like it just knows when I'm going on holiday. I feel like every holiday I go on, my skin thrives. It just knows, like I've got no active breakouts, obviously still got scarring, but like, how does it know? Anyways, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my skin yet, but yeah, I've got a skin appointment tomorrow. And then obviously Wednesday we leave, but I'm actually glad that we've got the whole of Wednesday still to like pack and like run around and do last minute things um, because we don't actually leave until 11.30 p.m. So we don't have to be at the airport until like what, 8.30? So we've got all day. So now I'm gonna go make a coffee and my video is actually almost uploaded. It's 7.36, which is a good sign. It is on, what is it on? 90%, thank the Lord that it actually worked this week. Um, I'm gonna go help Charlie in the warehouse before my um, nail appointment because we have a lot of orders to go through. So I'm gonna go do that and then I get my nails done but I will show you guys when I get my nails done. All right, I've just been to the post office. I didn't actually get a chance to come on Friday because of the launch, so I've got actually quite a few parcels here to show you. This one I bought from Basecamp Beauty. I keep seeing, I follow this girl um, from America, I guess, called Sarah Ashcroft, and she's got a brush really similar to this. Um, so I found like an Australian, obviously, oh no, she's from the UK, not America. Um, so I try to find a brush similar from a brand in Australia and I came across this one. It's from Basecamp Beauty and basically, um, oh wow, I really love the packaging. Basically it's a brush that has like a little curve to really like sculpt your, um, head. I don't know what word to use. Um, yeah, really nice packaging, actually. Gorgeous. But yeah, basically, it's like a brush like this. That's what she used. And her hair, like, literally looks like... It's, like, moulded to her head. Like, it looks so clean. Not that, like, when I do mine, it doesn't look clean. But sometimes I can't get certain bumps. Um, because my my one's actually, like, almost like con like that. Like, it goes out like that. A little bit but this one look at that really nice so I'm really excited to try that one okay guess what the top that I wanted from with jean came back in stock the halter neck one so now I have to decide which one I want to keep and which one I want to return oh my god I love it I have a feeling I'm gonna keep this one over the other one but I'm gonna try it on I'll actually try it on when I get to the warehouse and let you know. What is this? Oh my goodness. Mermaid hair. And Barbie. No, they didn't collab. But they've done like a 
Barbie sort of collab. That is so cute. I am obsessed with my um, blow brush. So it comes with like a blow brush, some clips, and then some like gems to put on your hair, which is really fun for like a festival. Thank you so much. Pretty sure I know what this is. It's just a top up of some of my Naked Harvest goodies that I ran out of. I got some more banana lolly greens because I literally have gotten Peter onto it and now it goes within like two weeks. So annoying. Um, I got some cookies and cream protein and I also got some more banana split. Oh, we've got some hair care. We have an all-in-one treatment, a blonde conditioner and a blonde shampoo. Thank you so much. Okay, I need to go so badly. I need to go help Charlie with the orders. Here's me like freaking doing a bloody haul in the car when there's so much work to do. Okay, well, I will talk to you later. of orders we've done well actually i did two of them over the weekend i came in and charlie's still going we've still got 300 more to print nails are done i can't wait to put a fake tan on i think i'll do it either wednesday morning or tomorrow night about to go to rabina now to pop into perfect stranger and yeah choose some fits for europe I'm just gonna do a little before oh yeah. my god i've got mascara everywhere Hello everyone, I haven't updated you since I got my brows and lashes done. Surely I'm showing you in the morning because like, <laughs> look at all my makeup that's come off on my eyes. I look disheveled. Anyways, just made dinner. We actually just had a HelloFresh meal and it was really yum. It was the Moroccan chicken and rice. Highly recommend if you've got that one. Um, this is my current situation at the moment. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go for a shower. And what I wanna do tomorrow is obviously film like a pack with me. I might do a little TikTok, maybe I'll do a reel. Um, but what I wanna do is like organize my fits for the video. So I'll like put them in piles of like sections. Cause I just need to organize it before I film it. Otherwise it'll be chaos. So I think I'm gonna do that after I have a shower. And yeah, spend like a couple of hours doing that, like planning some fits. Because yeah, I don't want to overpack because we're only there for 17 days. So I do want to, yeah, just make sure I have like enough outfits for the days that we're there and just be like set on those outfits and not just bring like random tops and random bottoms that like I probably won't even wear because yeah, there's just no point. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm also going to try on that with jean top as well. I get out of the shower so yeah we'll talk to you later or if not tomorrow she is a cold one today good morning I was gonna bring a coffee with me to the gym but I don't have any keep cups clean so that's annoying um I just have to make one at work but yeah I'm off to my PT session today I cannot wait to go get a facial today. Oh my God, I'm gonna get microdermabrasion. They can just like get rid of all the lumps on my skin. I can't believe we're leaving tomorrow. Like what? Hello, I'm finished. Thank God that's over. That was actually a tough session. Um, I need to go to the warehouse actually because we just sort out all the pre-orders that we got when we announced it. Um, yesterday so I need to like put them aside 
But yeah, it's basically a system that we use for pre-orders and it is quite time consuming having to like sift through all of them because I can't find any other way that I could possibly do it without printing off the labels. It's so annoying. Maybe I have to ask someone. Maybe that works for Shopify or Starship it actually because there's surely got to be a better way. Maybe an app? I didn't even... I didn't even think that there could be an app on Shopify for pre-orders. Wow. There's probably an app. There's an app for everything on Shopify. I'm off to the warehouse now. I'm gonna go make a coffee. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I think I have a skin appointment. I did get a message yesterday from them saying, um, we look forward to seeing you, but it said June 30th. So I don't know if they've stuffed up or if I've stuffed up the dates, but I was certain that it was today. Anyways, they haven't gotten back to me, but they're obviously not open. It's not even eight o'clock, but um, yeah, I may or may not be doing that today. Have I shown you guys my nails? I can't remember if I have, but sorry, but like they are stunning. Like, am I just getting red nails every time I go? Because every single time I get red nails, obsessed actually obsessed how chic and just well she is an amazing artist like she makes them look like this as well but she is just incredible i go to onyx files in cool and gutter and i'll be going to her until she stops doing nails i will travel an hour to see her if i move to brisbane which i never would i would literally drive an hour to see her she is that good um absolutely love her anyways that was off topic slash micro ever. Let's see if I can put my vlog camera here. Oh, she's on an angle. Oh my God. I haven't been to the new skin here in Ravina and it is, I thought the bundle one was incredible, but this one is amazing. Um, but yeah, I just went and got a, well, it's called like an express micro. And yeah, it was amazing. Look at my skin. I just felt like I really needed that for like my congestion on my forehead. But she's gonna give me a product that's out of stock at the moment to use to hopefully clear up this situation. But my skin is thriving. Okay, I gotta go. She's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing in here. Okay, I'm currently filming a TikTok real situation. And I think I'm gonna categorize it in like tops, sets, dresses, jackets etc swimwear so obviously i am filming this so you'll see that but it'll be like a quick video so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna film like this little segment and then i'll show you guys exactly what tops and stuff that i'm bringing this is the current stitch it's honestly yeah the biggest mess but i need one of these i feel like they will fit in there possibly okay, first fit i was thinking my with jean top my trusty De Cuba skirt and then these boots. Those shoes would also look really cute with this fit, but I definitely am gonna wear this. myself up I still haven't put a tan on I'm gonna do that right now then I'm gonna go get a blow dry then I need to go pick up my pants that I got hemmed finally because I've been wearing them and they're way too long they drag on the floor and they're just getting ruined so finally went to go and get those hems I'm gonna pick those up today I just actually made these they launched today. They're the Naked Harvest Bites, Cookies and Cream Crunch, and then the Choc Fudge Delicious. They're both protein 
um, mixes and oh my god, I'm like tempted to take some of these as a snack on the plane, not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna let that set in the fridge, I think. Let me have a look. Form into balls and cover and transfer into the fridge for at least an hour. Okay, cool. We'll put them in the fridge and I'll give you guys a taste test, but how good. They literally took me like five minutes to make. This one only required coconut oil and rice malt syrup. And then this one also had coconut oil, rice malt syrup, plus almond butter. Um, they look delicious. My discount code will work on these as well, um, but I'll leave everything on the screen, but I'll do a taste test when I get back from the hairdressers, but they literally look and smell delicious. Okay, she's in the car, she's tanned. I'm just about to go and get a blow dry. I think I got my House of CB package. Thank God, I was really scared that it wasn't gonna arrive in time. It might not be, but it kind of looks like it is. It doesn't say the sender on it because mum took a photo, but hopefully it is because it's like a DHL package. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, um, yeah, hair and then need to go to Riley's, need to go to mum's, need to go pick up my pants. And that is it. The hair is done. I'm feeling fresh. And it was my House of Seafood package. The thing is I can't try it on because I've got a wet tan on. So I'm just crossing my fingers and toes that fit. <gasps> Gorgeous. Look at it. Oh my God, it's so such nice quality. It low-key looks like a wedding dress, but it's like a short white like slip dress. Oh my god, obsessed. I got a medium. Hopefully that fit. I like how they have um different like cup size options. So like you can order a medium and then you can get like smaller bust or bigger bust, which is pretty cool. So I got the bigger bust one. Because like there's nothing worse than like getting tops like this in your size, but then like the cup size, like you know, everyone's cup size is different no matter what size you are. So I like how they've got that option on the website. I don't want to get freaking tan on it. And then I got this black lace set, which is stunning. Ooh, I think that might be too <gasps> What cup size is that? Oh my God, no. Oh, actually, that, that could work. That does look very big. I did get a large and then I got the plus. Okay, maybe that might be too big. Fuck. Damn it. I just thought like, oh, I didn't realize it doesn't really like do up like a corset at the back. I thought maybe it was like one of those like zip. I don't know. I didn't really look into it properly. Shit. Maybe I should have got the medium. Oh, well. And then I just got the matching skirt. Okay, I need to go. ASAP. Okay, I just went to the post office and this could not have come at a better time. SPF. This is an SPF 50 Sun Care Mist from Olivia Ray. Never heard of the brand, but love that. Can never have too much SPF. And then this is a Sun Care Mist face shield. Oh, okay, that's body and this is face. Love that. I'll definitely be taking these. Thank you so much. Hello. It's been some time since I updated you. I think I finished packing. I am going to go through. I was pretty bad last night at showing you. Like, I did show you some fits, I think. But in terms of, like, how I pack, I didn't really show you. Wait, have I shown you my hair and everything? No, I don't think I have. Have I? I can't even remember. Today has been such, like go, go, go. I just did some steps on the treadmill just because I just know, like I just feel sluggish when I don't like do any sort of like physical activity. I walk pretty much every single day. So I thought let's just get that over with. I'm going to show you my suitcase. Now I actually thought I'd be overweight, but it turns out that this is only 23 kilos and we get 40 kilos each. We are going to disperse that between three suitcases so we'll have like wait yeah that makes sense three suitcases wait 80 kilos dispersed in three suitcases so what's that like 23 kilos each or something like that I don't know I'm really bad at maths but I'm gonna show you 
what I've done. The I also have the July packing cubes. These are an actual game changer. If you don't have packing cubes, you don't have to get the July ones, but these ones are really good quality. I also have these ones, which I just got from Amazon. Similar sort of vibe. Um, yeah, I guess they do the same thing. They're just probably not as like sturdy and durable. Um, but yeah, like I honestly... Like, my suitcase isn't even, like, overflowing. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I felt like I overpacked and, like, packed too much. But I guess at the end of the day, we are going for two weeks. So, so basically, I have tried to categorize it into each section. So, like, tops, dresses, sets, I think, and then trousers, I think, are in this one. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything. But I will just go through, like, some staple pieces, like, I feel like you need. Long sleeve cotton tees that I got from Skims. Just like a basic white singlet. This is that set that I showed you guys. And then these are all the tops that I'm pretty sure I showed you. That's my with jean one, Princess Polly. I'm going to bring this feather one. Not sure if I'll wear it. I did wear it last year. And then like my chic top. So that's that packing cube. And I've got this really nice like satin set. That is my dish pants. I've got my maxi. And then I've also got some leather pants and my two perfect strangers like suede sort of skirts because they will just go with anything. This one I think is dresses. That's my Skims sculpting um, bike pants. This is that dish top. I didn't end up returning it. I think it would still look really nice. I feel like if I did get the bigger one though, it probably wouldn't hold my boobs in place. Whereas I like that it gives me some support. I feel like, I don't know, my boobs would just look funny if I got a bigger size. So I ended up keeping that size. Um, my Princess Polly dress that you've seen. I, I also ended up getting this slip dress from Skims as well in my order. So I got that just for like a night where I don't feel like wearing anything super fancy. But you can still look put together with this dress on. And then maybe some hoops and a blazer. I've got another like lace dress in here. I've got my lace sort of skirt. I've got my Arsena Ori long dress, which I will definitely wear in Paris. I'm so excited to wear that. I've been saving it to wear in Paris. And I think that's everything in that one. And then this one is more for like south of France. So I've got these two tops from Jeff Avenue. I've got my long sleeve. That's also from Jeff Avenue, actually. A long sleeve, like black suede top. I've got this... Uh, beige skirt that I got from Revolve. You would have probably seen it in my haul. I actually can't wait to wear that. Got this like crochet sarong. I've got some Myra Swim set. Also have the matching one piece too. This Ocalane one piece is a must. I love this. You can also wear it as a bodysuit. And then these are my Rat and Boa pieces that you probably would have seen me wear in Dubai. Actually, I don't think I wore the zebra pants in Dubai. So yeah, I'm really keen to wear them again. I feel like that skirt is just always going to be a vibe and I will wear it on every holiday that I go on. And then obviously packing my steamer. And then I've also just got this little tote bag um, for when we go down to the beach. I thought it'd be handy. So um, why is that wet? <gasps> oh my God, there's water in here. I was like, why is that freaking tote bag wet? Okay, I'm going to have to empty this. See, this is why I vlog because if I didn't vlog me packing, this probably would have ended up in my suitcase. Only. I need to fix her speakers. I honestly thought that I had to evacuate and I was like, well, I actually can't because I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> Anyways, I just went and emptied my steamer. I'm actually going to film me putting these packing cubes in this suitcase for the TikTok. And then I'm going to go wash off my tan because, yeah, it's been like six hours or so. Just this up. Okay, I've just put all my packing cubes in the one side, and then on this side, we have shoes and that's blazers. So, what have we got in here? We've got my undies in here, we've got some boots, shoes again, these little like, um bags are from Amazon. So I've got my two heels in there and some socks, my Tony Banco heels. And then in here I have got my um, black Dior sandals. Here is all my hair care. 
So I've got my Mermaid Blow Brush, some headbands, that's just a makeup setting powder and this because it didn't fit in my makeup bag. This wax, my new brush and a curler. Riley's bringing her, I think she's bringing her Dyson, like her air wrap and her straightener. And then I've just got some hair clips. I just realized I need my leave-in hair stuff and I don't have a little like pot to deposit it in. Hmm. Found one and I've just popped in my little Color Wow leave-in treatment. So that can go in there, just make sure it's sealed tight. So that's my hair. And then in here, I think I've got my Sambas. Yes, my slides, um, a Pauline Paris bag that I got recently, it's really cute. And then that's it, that's all that's in this section. Um, and then in this one, we have like blazers, which I know that we'll only probably be using in Paris because it gets down to about 11 degrees at night. Let me just open this. So I've got a gray blazer, black, and then this is just like a cropped beige blazer. I was going to bring my like full length beige one, but I feel like if I was to wear a full length blazer, I would probably lean more towards one of these. Um, and then this is just like a little uh, black top that I put in last minute. But yeah, they're the um, blazers that I'm bringing. Okay, I think I'm ready. I've got the three suitcases. I'm going to go to mum's, say goodbye. And then I also... Because Barker's is on the way. I'm going to go and say bye to Barker and dinner. I haven't eaten dinner, but I probably will just have something at the airport. I've been like snacking on those Naked Harvest Bites all day. Which, oh my god, by the way, I forgot to update. You are so good. Like, I think I had eight today. They remind me of those like crackle, like rice bubble and chocolate things they used to make like at school. I can't, I can't remember what they're called, but I was like trying to explain it to peter but like that's the texture and taste of it so so good i'll definitely be getting more when i get back but um uh yeah that's the plans and i will see you guys at the airport we have boarded riley forgot her compression socks i pulled out my socks thinking that they were my compression socks and they're just normal and they're just normal black pining socks which first of all don't even go up my leg I don't even fit my calf, so yeah. I'll be walking around the airport with swollen leaks. <gasps> so our first flight is eight hours, and then we have a eight hour stopover in Singapore. So we're thinking we might explore, like go out of the airport and explore. If we're not, surely. Yeah, that's if we get some sleep and we're not like wrecked. But to be honest, I'm tired already. Yeah, but we'll sleep. Yeah. That's what I mean, I like, like we'll tired, go to sleep. in the morning, yeah. Because what are we going to do at the airport for eight hours? That's There's boring. heaps to do. Yeah, but like, on that sky thing, look around. Yeah. But that's only, like, what, two hours? And then we've yeah. got six hours Surely left. we're going out. Yeah. Have some lunch, but I want to check the weather. It looks wrong. We've got our barramundi and rice. Actually, low-key looks really good. What the hell? Towers we we're gonna go visit, but Jewel terminals or something. We, well, don't we have a look around in here? See if there's yeah. something. If there's not, then we'll go. Well, we can go to no, the I butterfly don't garden. garden. The butterfly one. Is that in here? Yeah, I think it's in this one, or it might be in the other terminal actually. What's that big place? The shops. Yeah. 
Oh, look, coffee. Whoa. Yeah, they didn't have decaf or almond milk in the lounge, so I'm on the hunt to find a decaf almond latte. Yeah, this is Singapore Airport. It's freaking massive. Whoa, I might yeah. get a treat from here. Those yeah, let's go in. Yum. Oh, like honey in Do you know what it reminds me of? That red place in Dubai. Yum. Alright, we've made it to Jewel Terminal. We have decided obviously not to go outside because look at the weather. Absolutely pissing down with rain. It's a bit muggy in this. Yeah. Looks really cool though. Oh, look at the train. See I'm excited to go inside. Okay, it is so boiling, but this is the Jewel Tower. How cool is that? It's just like a massive shopping center. So we're gonna go walk around, get some coffee. Nothing's open, so. This might be good for you. See. Like that? Oh. Update, we are still in Singapore airport. We are just having a shower in the lounge. I'm actually so excited to have a shower. Um, we ended up just going over to uh, the jewel tower, which you saw, we literally just walked over. You actually do have to exit customs to go there but it was actually not too bad um just make sure if you do do that to allow enough time you know to get back in pretty much got in there was like no lines we got in straight away but yeah i'm gonna have a shower and get changed into some more comfy clothes and our next flight is 13 hours i'm planning on actually editing my vlog and editing some content that i filmed and then sleeping hopefully at one point but i'm just so excited to hop in the shower Okay, I'm refreshed and all good to go. I've got another comfy set. I'm gonna go outside and eat some chicken nuggets and chips because we had it last time. We were in this lounge and they literally tasted like the Macca's one. I think we bored in like an hour and a half. That actually went pretty fast. Considering we were here for eight hours um, and we didn't really do that much. Um, but yeah, excited to get on this next flight. Update, we're on our next flight. watching Desperate Housewives, but it's currently what's the time? It's 2.30. I am feeling a little bit tired. I might go for a nap first and then stay awake for the majority of the flight because we land at 10. So yeah, I think I'll have lunch, maybe try to have a nap, maybe edit my video. I don't know. Or I could just sleep when my body wants to sleep and we can just deal with jet lag when we land but yeah that's the current sitch these um the chairs are a lot bigger than the other plane that we um were on from Brisbane anyways let me give you guys an update the eye masks are on and we're landing in two hours so excited We've made it and our luggage has arrived. Thank God. Alright, how are we gonna do this? One of us. Why is it indented? <laughs> I've just checked in. Oh, it's not this one. Oh, that's alright. It's hot, cute. Oh, yeah, it is actually hotter than expected. Oh, yeah, cute. Wait for it. This is our view from our room. Don't, it's literally sparkling. Good morning. Oh my God. It's so early. We're the only one that's It left. is. Um, do you want to maybe map it to that place or have you already done that? Yeah, so our plans for today are go grab a coffee, then we'll head back to the room, get changed for the day, then head to another cafe to actually eat. We probably will get a little like croissant or something. Yes, pen chocolate. Yeah, 100%. Oh, so we're straight meters. and then just over there. Um, so yeah, we'll go do that, get a coffee and a croissant and then head back to the room, get change. And then we want to go to the cafe Kitsumi, which is like a famous cafe here in Paris. And then we'll probably go around the Louvre and do some sightseeing. But like, how are these streets real? And there's the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. 
right. Hang on, let's put up on here. Whoa, cool ledge for a camera too. That's the push in the back for me. Okay. Anyways, this is the fit. And we're off. All right, we've made it. We're at Cafe Beloy. Okay. What have they got? There's this, like mm. a coffee you know, and a croissant. You know what we need? The oh, here, 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 here. Oh, English? Yeah. Place okay. breakfast, a sheer cake of cake or toasted brioche or traditional baguette with fine butter or cereal bread. Can we just get a coffee and a croissant? Like individually or is it just that, is that what they've got? Our first coffee and croissant. And he even said it like that too. He literally said, do you want a croissant? He's My gosh. Maybe I should put it here. Have our first croissant. Have you got Ready? any cooks in? I don't need to yeah. get any. Yeah. I got a cool pick. Ready? Okay. What are we doing? Biting I don't know. We're doing the coffees first. I don't want milk in mine, so I'm just gonna have a little bit. Wait. It's melting in my mouth. No, I'm still. No, it's melting. It's fresh. They've just made it. They've boiled it over. Is it getting me? I'm not being dramatic. That croissant is the best croissant. 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 I've eaten like I've had a lot of croissants in my life. Okay, we've arrived at Cafe Kitsune. Food wants to ping. That is a thick piece of bread. It's really hard to I got the abo. Yum. That actually looks really good. Yeah. I think Mona's up this way. It's hectic in here. We're holding our bags close. So many people. Yeah. Lobster. You need to go slow. I am going slow. Though. I'm, I'm not. Stuck. I'm literally walking as slow as I can. I can't go anywhere. There's people everywhere. want cute pics in the Louvre. What's this section called again? I wouldn't Tiger. know. Maybe just look it up where the um, and ask sculptures someone. are from the um, De Mali Chateau. Whoa, Riley's been Chateau De Mali. reading all the descriptions. But yeah, it's really cool in here. Really, really nice. I'm sweating in this blazer. We have made it to I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Let's have a look. The Tullery's Garden? That's wrong. Jardin des Tulleries, I think. Riley's just taking pics. But it's the little garden where all the green seats are, which is really cute. We just got a SIM card as well finish your water which is a big ordeal we actually ran into a follower and then she um, helped us helped us to the sim card place which is really nice of her so random like bumping into people yeah like on the literal other side of the world I think if you want a sim card get it at the airport yeah or we ended up getting it at a tobacconist oh no like, no it wasn't a tobacconist it was an actual no, we phone shop. But yeah. it's like a bit of a fuckery. So just like, they're yeah. not around here. So just file yeah. at the airport. Or if you are here and you didn't get it at the airport, apparently the best bet is tobacconists or like a shopping center, but that was way too far for us. Managed to get a little seat. Watching all the ducks. It's actually the perfect so nice. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like a cool breeze, getting over it, but it's hot. Fountain. It's comfortable wearing. I wonder what degrees it is. 
All right, we've come to, what's this place called? The Cafe Marley, which is like right outside of the Louvre. There was no tables like right by the balcony, but still cute. The Louvre's like right there behind that pillar. Bread and butter. And some Coke Zeros. That's Can't go good. wrong. Yum. Update. Well, there is no real update. Yeah, I'm well, we sick. were, we, yeah, Riley's sick. I had a I wall, guys. I would say we're like a bit jet lagged. I've come good now after we've eaten, though, but I was tired before the I'm food came. I'm getting cold, to be honest. Yeah, Riley just like hit a wall when we got back. Well, went this morning to sleep. I woke up, throat was a bit tingly. I went, mm, something's happened. Then I did the throat, throat gargle, felt a bit better. Mm. Then I started doing hots and colds mm. in the park. <laughs> But it also probably didn't help that we were cold outside, went into the Louvre, yeah. were sweating. With all these people. And then went the back Ubers outside, it was ground. cold again. And then we're in the sun and I was hot. Like, yeah, so I wasn't I probably sure whether will, it was a weather or whether I'm actually sick. I probably will wake up with a cold sore. That always happens. Oh, yeah. you cold sores? Yeah. Herpes. You should have told me that because we share lip products. Well, it's not active. You won't get it if... Oh. No, it's only if... If I have a cold sore, it's contagious. Dude, seek help. We've been, like, sharing lip products for, like, five years. Oh, that's why I was like... <laughs> and you've never got a cold sore. I haven't had one in, like, maybe two years. You need help. Anyways, we ordered five, guys. Which is so Which is so disgusting. Oh, I didn't need, if, I didn't no, two bites. if you've had five guys before, obviously it's amazing. <laughs> it's like literally one of the best burger places ever. And it came fucking soggy, dude. Like, <laughs> the bread was wet. Was and then like... Riley goes, oh, no, it might be like one of those really fresh buns. And yeah, I was like... It was, it was giving like... You know when it was giving bread is like the inside of bread is like so fresh that it's like almost a bit doughy. Yeah, but that was just not doughy at all. It was mine was quite doughy. Mine was saturated <laughs> with like mayo or something, or they've I don't know what's happened, but it was the worst burger I've ever had in my life. <laughs> not well, joking. Actually, we've had to move Crazy Horse because yeah, of but that's fine. We move at least we could reschedule, so we haven't actually missed it. But yeah, we we're meant to go to Crazy Horse tonight at ten thirty, and but I was just, just not hacking it. We did have a really good Biscoff tiramisu though. Yeah, that was it. We actually guess what? If we went to Crazy Horse, we wouldn't have had that. True. Everything happens for a reason. True. Now I'm just so yeah. If Jazz's areolas out. Oh my god! We just filmed a TikTok, and I really don't think it is. Well, like it's the not. tiniest bit. But, like, who's doing that? Who's zooming in? Oh, you can't that? really tell. That doesn't really look like an arrow. I feel like that's not it. It's the shadow. Yeah, maybe it's not. So it's fine. Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah we've just been filming rogue TikToks, uploaded some content, and now we're going to wait for the Eiffel Tower to sparkle and then go to bed. Oh, my God, wait. It's... Oh, no. I just freaked Shit. out because I saw my thing you saying 704. It's 10.33, and it, yeah, it sparkles at 11. So I'm going to go out there, get some pickies, and then <coughs> get to bed. Packs? No, of it. No, yeah, oh, of me. I was going to say, I'm not, I'm not ready for that. But yeah, new day tomorrow, surely you'll be better, because yeah. we actually After have lots planned. What have we got tomorrow, leave run now? Hey, look at these pics we took, guys. Oh, yeah, we would... No, not that one. That's a nice one. You just can't see the Eiffel. Riley took the <laughs> worst photos of me, and I oh, took really nice ones of her, and she even uploaded Jess, them. Jess, do you call this nice? Where's mine? Well, firstly, you're a model, so... Firstly, yeah. firstly, it wasn't actual proper pics. We were testing. Yeah, but you we still look it. good in those. That's not my fault. I'm pretty. That's what I'm saying. No, this I is... I was wrong. Sorry, look at that. No. <laughs> if she thinks that's good... No, show me the one that you uploaded. The funny one. Yes, silly. the funny and pretty one. This one. Where my hair looks like a noodle. You look cute there, though. 
Well, well, if I look I'm like that, I'd upload it too. I'm still going to keep smile. Here, you look nice here. I see this one. Look, looking down, aesthetic. Eiffel in the back. It's good. Anyways, we're taking test shots for tonight, but it's going to have to be tomorrow. We have no other choice. We've only got one more night, so you can't oh, be yeah. sick tomorrow okay. to get the shot. Okay, this is... To be honest, I'm really glad we didn't go to Crazy Horse tonight. We would have been fucked up. Yeah, tomorrow especially. Yeah, we would have, like... Think it a whole day. Yeah. Okay, good bye. Tomorrow. Morning, everyone. I mean, bonjour, everyone. We have my costume for today. <laughs> Wearing Riley's scarf. Actually, it does look really cute. Didn't think I'd like the scarf, but it does work with what I'm wearing. Riley's still getting ready. Yeah. We're going to um, Cafe de Flore, which has those famous hot chocolates. It's basically just like melted chocolate. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a thick chocolate, and then you get like whipped cream, and you're supposed to put it all together and mix it all in. It's meant to be really good. Croissant. Yeah, we'll get some croissants, and yeah, and then today we're gonna go vintage shopping. So yeah. we've got a few. Yeah, we've made a little list. We actually need to check if they're like close to each other. Yeah, like I feel like we just got like random um, stores from TikTok, but like didn't actually. Like, who knows where they are. We can look them up at yeah. breakfast. Um, and then we've got uh, two reservations today. One at Bambini. And then tonight we're going to Mamma Mia. Which, not the musical. No. Nah. It's a, yeah, it's like a restaurant that kind of turns into like a club slash bar. And Riley's feeling better, thank God. Yeah. Because, I don't know if I told you, but we were meant to go to Crazy Horse last night. But I was, I felt pretty tired and like jet lagged vibes and yeah Riley wasn't feeling the best so I was like sick vibes yeah I was like, actually we... really worried that you were gonna wake up worse yeah same but but I'm you kind pulled of glad through. we like changed that because um yeah we'll I reckon you definitely would have felt worse like I reckon you would have woken up sick if we went because we wouldn't have gotten home until like 2 a.m yeah, true like had a really bad sleep especially if we we're like drinking because we had like the champagne have I even shown you our little Terrace? Well, it's actually not really. It's actually quite dangerous. Yeah, no, I'll be fine. I'm just showing them the view. But yeah, there's the Eiffel Tower. And then that's what it looks like from the other direction. So quiet. Okay, we've made it to the famous cafe. We're just waiting for like someone to go from like out the outside bit. Um, but it's so busy. Riley's just waiting in line. We want one of those outside tables. And there's even a line. Hi. Guys, we're dying. Look at this. This looks so <gasps> yum, actually. Dead. I like all squished together. It's so cute. It's okay, okay trying, where then. do you want me to put the camera? Oh, the one you said was better. I already know. Okay. Wake up, let's see this first. Oh, I'm doing this. Do not bump me. Yeah. Hang on, let me film you. Okay, taste test. Yeah. Of the hot chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Oh my it's very sweet. Yum. Yum. Mm. Mm, that is delicious. We're in a shopping center called Prin Printemps. It's giving David Jones. Do you have a mirror? Hey, look at they actually That's look cool. cool. Um, look behind you. Oh. I remember get your bag. These ones are cool. It's giving Willy Wonka. Cool shape. Mm. There you go with these. Really cool shape. These I actually bigger. really like the shape of these. I just don't like the lens. Look like a bug. 
have a little surprise days. for you. We have a little gift for you. Yeah, because it's a... Uh... I'm trying to, I'm trying to find us a duck tail. Wait, no. Why did you say La Terraza Bambini? I feel like it's crazy. No, it doesn't, like, we're just baffled because look. This is what we thought we were coming to. But like... It doesn't look high, look. When we walked in, I knew that this is a completely different spot to what the tip trucks were. It's, it's obviously really cool here, like I love it, yeah, but it's really cool. Like, it's not that. Yeah. yeah, it is really cool. It's like a rooftop terrace vibe. There is so much food here. We're doing double vlogging. Okay, the servings are massive. Hello? <laughs> Surely we're gonna end the water after it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool. I'm getting on a boat, drinks on the boat. Yeah, you can do like a sunset thing. We're doing drinks on the boat. Yeah. Well, we've just come next door to their like, I guess, second um, restaurant, bar. Anyways, how cool is the view? No, it's so cute. So oh, the, the last one, yeah. Hello, everyone. So we're back in the room, getting ready again. This is like the third time we've gotten changed today. Please. We're like, <gasps> like on the clock. I know. Um, we've got a reservation at Mamma Mia? Is it? No, Pink Mama. No, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Tonight at basically midnight. It's 10.30, our reservation. But we figured it doesn't really get good until, well, I mean, last year when I was in Paris... Peter and I went to a few restaurants at like 7.30, 8 o'clock and no one was there because everyone like has dinner at like 11 o'clock here. So we thought we'd make the reservation for 10.30 and it turned into like a little like club situation so that'll be interesting. We hit a wall earlier so we decided to get up and go down to our local and have a coffee. Our local? Yeah, been there twice. Please. Um, and now we're feeling a bit more alive. We went to the convenience store and picked up a rosé, which we will be drinking in mugs because we have no glasses. Seriously, there's none? No, there is none. Shit. Hopefully it's uh, alright. There might be. No, where? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to get ready now. Put on our costumes again. Actually, no, it's not really a costume tonight. Mine is. Really? That, yeah. Nah, you would wear that on the GC. Would I? Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the fits. I'm going to put some music on and drink our rosé. Our five euro rosé. Pop it off. Pull it up, surely. No, I can't. I'm scared of that stuff. It's not like champagne. Oh. Uh, oh. So it's still. Still rosé. Yeah. Isn't rosé sparkly? If it's sparkling rosé, yeah. Oh. I'm scared. Nice. Sweet. It's alright. Your bedtime is set for 8.30pm. Wind down is starting now. Literally got a notification. Well, we won't be winding down. We'll be winding up. <laughs> winding myself up. In three up. hours' time. Winding up. Wind me the fuck up. <laughs> Actually. This is the final fit. It's a little set from House of CB. Quite cute. It's currently 9.30pm. And this is what it looks like outside. Yeah. We've got our reservation in one hour. We're going to go to a, like, a little spot and get some pics first and then yeah head to Mamma Mia. Bonjour! Day... is this day three or day four? Uh, I think three. <laughs> it honestly feels like we've been here for a whole month. 
Today yeah. we'll feel shorter though because we've actually it's 12 o'clock yeah. and we haven't left the room. We've slept in. But um yeah, we've had a really good sleep. I'll go into last night a bit later because we need to sit down and unpack that. We're going to go drop off our bags though to our new hotel. No, we're leaving them here. Walk into breakfast, walking back, then we'll go and then we'll uh, walk around shops. Okay. Aye. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Update, we're in a Uber. Hello. We've got all of our luggage and we are about to check into our new hotel. We just went to Gigi's and what do we have? Just a pizza and some Coke Zero because we were literally so full from breakfast and our ice cream. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving Mr. Beans. Thank help. That's good. Yeah. It was really cool in there. But we're in GG's. Yeah. Yeah, but. Like, I get why people go there, but also, like, the Eiffel Tower was covered by the garden, so. But the food was good, the vibes yeah. were good. There was, like, a live singer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely recommend it if you can get a booking. Get a booking, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to get into, but. Um, um, we almost got denied at the door, actually, because we didn't know uh, that. Yeah. So, like, just be careful when you're booking stuff. They often will email you and you have to put your card details in, but it's like a week after your book day. And like they went not... to my spam, so like I didn't even know that they'd emailed me. And then we get there and they're like, oh no, your booking's been cancelled because yeah. you didn't put your card in. So but luckily we but yeah, had a table. still had a table, yeah. But yeah, shit, imagine. I mean, it would have been the end and of the world. And they were like mad at us. We were like, well, yeah. <laughs> sorry. We they're like, make no. sure you do it. Yeah. And we're like, well, it's too late now. Like, <laughs> we're not going to be doing it again because, <laughs> yeah. well, you know. So, yeah, yeah. but yeah, excited. it was yum. I'm so full though, and we've got like we we're meant to go Eiffel Tower picnic, and then we've booked. Well, we were gonna do that, yeah. The restaurant at 10:30 again, so we're probably gonna be scammed again tonight. Do you reckon? Nah, sure there's no minimum spend. What one did? What one's this one? You uh, there. Lee Magneton, yeah. I've been there. Went there I'm with Peter last up. year, but we went too early, so the vibes weren't there. So yeah, definitely if you're booking like a restaurant that turns into a club, go later. Like go at like 10, 10, 30. Guys, we've just checked in and it's, we're literally dumbfounded. <laughs> Seriously, like look at this. Seriously. Look Ready? Ready? Wait for it. You sound like a goat. I mean, it's just no words. That's also our balcony there. So we'll be doing cute pics from here. Zoomies, us having a croissant and a coffee in the morning. The road, the Honestly. Road. That's not real. Yeah, it's not real. We've got a massive room this time. And then this is our bathroom. I'm sitting here. <laughs> you sitting there waiting? Yeah. waiting bathroom. We have to take turns, guys. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It's Absolutely amazing. Guys, how cute are we? We just got a bunch of stuff. We've clogged ourselves here. Right below the Eiffel Tower. So cute. Dude. <laughs> We've literally taken, you know, like what you, what they put on top of the bed. We've literally taken that off the bed as I'm at. Surely you're turning it around, not the velvet side up. Turn it around, please. That's gross. You're gonna solve Yeah. It's less obvious now. Thank you. Rip it in half. My little sandwich. Made my own baguette. Yum. 